Working on a personal project, I recently faced the challenge of how to achieve more detailed faces in Animate which was quite discouraging for the past few days. After watching a few videos and doing some research, I will reveal how to use Detailer for Animate Dev, which will transform your videos with much better improvements and differences. This node uses the same sampling process as Animate Dev, resulting in a consistent video quality. And a big thank you to Dr. Data for developing the Impact Pack node. I will clear the workflow first to get started. Inside Comfy UI, make sure you have these nodes installed in your custom nodes. To install the Impact Pack node, click on Manager Install Custom Nodes. Select the Impact Pack by Dr. Data. Click on Install and be patient whilst this is installing. Once this is done, we will also need the models to work with. Click Install Models, search for Ultralytics. There will be a variety of models, but we don't need all of these. For now, we can install Face Yellow 8M. Also, you can add additional ones, which I did earlier. Once the installation is done, close. Uh, click on update all to update all your custom nodes. Be patient whilst this is installing. Restart Comfy UI once this is done. Let's start by creating an easy text to video workflow. Our first node will be the checkpoint for our style models. Right click, add node, go down to the loaders and select the load checkpoint. I'll move this to the left. Secondly, I'll create the VAE node by right clicking. Add node, also scroll down to loaders and select the VAE node. To understand using the node system, click to follow the path to find them rather than just searching for the names, which I believe will get you more familiar with your way around Comfy UI. I'll duplicate this to have our positive and negative node. Also, I'll change the colors from uh, our positive as green and also our negative, I'll go for red. Next, we need a case sampler. Right click to add a node, move down to the sampling and I will select the case sampler. I'll move ahead now to start connecting the nodes we have so far. Move the clip into the positive prompt as well as the negative prompt. To see where my nodes are joining, I usually like to use the reroute feature. In some of the workflows, I don't like seeing the cables behind the nodes. Uh, usually I like to have a good understanding of seeing everything connecting to each other. I'll move next to the VAE decoder. I'll right click to add node move to the latent and the latent select the vae decoder i'll connect the k sampler to the vae node next i'll connect the load vae by using the reroute feature again all the way to connect to the vae decode node and select the save image node for us to see our preview or our image generation connect the positive prompts to the case sampler and also the negative to the case sampler. Drag the latent image out to select the frame size um, for the generation. I'll tidy things up a bit to make this easy for you guys to follow. It helps me as well just to know where everything is leading to. I'll zoom into the empty latent image and change the size to 896, which is our aspect ratio for a vertical generation. From here, we can put in our prompt and my prompt will be a full picture of the Incredible Hawk standing. I will highlight the Incredible Hawk to add a little bit of weight to pay more attention to that in the prompt. Uh, down to the negative prompt, I'll just put in the usual and I'll just add not safe for work. For the load check model, I'll select the RPG Artist Tools. Also with the VAE, I'll change this to 84000 if I'm right. Inside the case sampler, I'll change this to the Eurilla A, keep this at normal. For the seed, I'll put this at a specific number so we can always keep updating with the same seed. And I'll change this to fixed as well. I'll zoom out here and let's see what we get from our basic text to image workflow. Okay, so we have our single image here. Um, as we can see, this is not very detailed with his face. Yeah, so we would address that now. I'll put all of these nodes into a group, change the name to text to video. This will keep things tidy and help us to follow along as the tutorial progresses. Now let's add the animate diff extension to generate a video from the text prompt. Go to the manager, install custom nodes, search for animate diff, choose evolved by Kosinka thing and click install. And we can also install the models from the manager, which is very handy. So we don't need to go to a different tab, usually like hugging face. To get this, click install models, 
search animates they've hit on search but the basic ones will be the sd15 v2 and also i have the v14 installed i usually like the results from that and choose any other models from here which will be installed and used by animates dev once done installing close and update all your nodes and then restart comfy ui back to the workflow first we need the animate div loader node i would right click add node animate div um, and go to the animate div loader i would also change the color to yellow just for easy recognition next i'll click again to add the second node which will be under animate div again and it will be the context options node which i'll connect to the animate div loader this node makes it possible to extend the animations beyond 32 frames i will choose to use the v14 model under the animate div loader and now let's connect the nodes to the text to video group nodes I'll first disconnect the model cable from the case sampler and take this into the animate diff loader. Bring the animate diff loader into the case sampler. So this is all we need to do to have a video generation from the image prompt. From here, I'm just gonna hit Q prompt to see the outcome of joining animate diff. I am actually glad this happened because we did not specify the frames for animate diff. Since we are generating an animation, we need to input the number of frames. We are going to fix this by going to the empty latent image and under the size, we can see there's a batch size there. I'll put in 30 just for now for a quick preview. I'll replace the save image node with the VHS combine. And let's Q prompt this again to see the results. All right, ready and saved. We now have an animation, uh, but looking closely, we can see the face is not looking too highly detailed. And we can't even see his eyes. We are going to use the node detailer. So the detailer node will detect the facial region and perform the detailing process across all the frames. To keep this organized, I'll move back to the animate diff nodes, uh, create a group here and call it animate diff and also highlight to put everything under this group. Also change the color to yellow just for a good visual presentation once again. To create the third workflow, which is the detailer for animate diff, we will be using the impact pack node. Right click to add node, impact pack and select the ultralytics provider. In here, we are going to find the models we installed earlier on. Select the YOLO 8M, right click to add node, move down to the impact pack, and I'll scroll up to the detector to select the simple detector for animate diff. So this node will detect the facial region of the generated video. And basically this saves us from having to impaint this frame by frame. We will also need another node, which is the SAM loader. Um, to add to the input nodes to the simple detector for animate diff. We will leave the image frames not connected for now and I will explain that a bit later in the video. Our second main node will be the detailer for animate diff node. I would right click here, add node. Once again, we go to the impact pack and from here we select the detailer and we should see the detailer for animate diff option here once we have the faces detected from the simple detector node we'll put this into the detailer node and this is where the detailing process is applied to all the frames here let's move to our final node i believe right click to add node we come down to the impact pack again go to detailer we should find sex paste down here we click that and we have everything almost completed from here we can output this to see our animation i'll go for the vhs combine once again let's keep things tidy so everything is easy to follow along with so from here our setup is ready for the detailing process but we need to connect this workflow with both animate diff and the text to video group nodes to do this i will use a node called to basic node which also comes from the impact pack i'll just highlight to move everything to the left from here, I'll just right click to add the node. I'll come down to the impact pack again and I uh, will select the pipe. And we can see we have two basic pipe. We go for this. I'll also clean things up a bit just so things are not too uh, clumsy. So I'm going to disconnect everything from the case sampler. 
I'm going to connect the animate diff node into the pipe. The pipe is basically having the same input as the case sampler. So it's nothing too complicated. We are just using this to have one output at the end. The load VAE also goes into the VAE positive prompt as well and also the negative prompt. So this should be done. I'll add another node from the impact pack, which is the pipe again. But from now we go to from pipe instead of to pipe. So we have the two and we link it to the from and we link from to the case sampler. Positive to positive, uh, negative to the negative. I'll move the empty latent image closer and connect this to the case sampler. Uh, from here, the VAE will once again use the reroute feature and send it to the VAE node. I hope I didn't lose you guys and everything is still easy to follow along with. I would then like to put all of this into a group and we'll come back to the text to video group again. And I'll just highlight to put all of this into the same group. All right, so we are almost done and now we only need to connect the detailer workflow. From here, inside the detailer, I'll just connect the basic pipe, reroute and send it all the way to the basic pipe node in the text to video group. We also need to connect the VAE node, uh, we drop it down, remember to always make the colors guide you to where you have to connect your inputs and outputs of every node. So let's keep this tidy once again. Put all of this into a group and rename this to Detailer for Animate Div. And I'll just drag to highlight all of this. I'll also change the color from what we have now to maybe purple. There we go. Once we have all of this connected, let's queue prompt for the first time using the detailer for animate div to see the results. All right, once again, this is ready and served. Already we can see the transformation from the left and the right with the faces, uh, which is a better improvement from the original generation. I would like to change a few more details in the detector node. Here, yeah, I'll change the dilation to 10. Also, the crop factor, I'll decrease to 2.5. I'll increase the size to 50. Uh, the dilation again to 10. And from here, under the detailer, I'll just change the maximum size, which we used earlier on as 896. The steps to 40. The sampler name to Jola A. And from here, let's queue prompt again to see any difference from what we have. All right, so this is still a bit cleaner, but very settled with the changes we made. Detailer is still keeping the consistency of the animation and also upgrading the facial features of the improved animation. I would also change the colors here quickly. I am very happy with the results and differences, but I still want to take this a step further by including an upscaler and a high res fix. So let's see how this turns out. Add a node for the upscaler load. Um, I'll drag this to have the outputs and I'll connect this to the image. Add another VHS combine for the video preview. Let's group this quickly. Um, I'll put this under upscaler. I'll also change the color to something different, which is yellow. I'll put this up here. And from here, let's keep prompt to actually push this a step further with the upscaler and combine all these three generations to see what we actually get. So this is quite interesting and uh, these are the outcomes we have in the end. You can see the faces clearly. The detailer node is now modified by the upscaler. And I'm sure you guys can see a huge difference from where we started to actually having the final result using the upscaler. So here is another example from a previous experiment. The face on the left is barely showing the eyes, the nose and the mouth compared to the right video using detailer for animated. So with this technique, you guys can make your animations look amazing, similar to how this video to video animation was also created on your screen. Uh, don't forget to leave a like and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.